Hello guys, it's Anders. In today's logic tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create the digital computer effect type sound that you hear in all the sci-fi films. And it sounds like this. And it's super easy to make inside logic. If this video is helpful for you, please bash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. If you've got any questions or anything else you would like to see, throw that in the comments down below. So to create this inside logic, we're going to need a couple of things open. We need an instance of ES2, which is this little beauty here. We're going to need an EQ just so we can see what's going on inside the analyzer and we are going to need the bit crusher we're also going to be doing some automation in this case we've used touch automation if you don't know what that is i will try and remember to link either above or down below the automation tutorials for yourselves what we will initially do is create an es2 now by default this comes up with a patch loaded and we want to turn most of it off so let's put the default on and the default would give us this. Not entirely what we are after. So we want to switch off most of the oscillators. We're just going to use one oscillator in this instance. And we just want it to be a sine wave. So we're going to turn off two. We're going to turn off three. If you grab this little knobby looking thing here and roll it down, we can put it on sine wave if we roll it up even not down silly old me anyway once we've done that we want to grab this one just next to it and tune that all the way up to zero just there and this is going to be our magic little knob here what else we want to do that's going to be up to you in how you apply the filters and various other things but this now gives us pretty much the sound we need now where this really comes into effect is using this offset knob here. We're going to get that to jump around using automation. So what we'll do, we'll copy the whole channel. We can highlight that. We press Command and D. That's going to make a duplicate of the channel for us. As you can see, though, it hasn't copied any of the automation values or any of the fun stuff. If we drag this down, that will try and do that. But we're not going to copy the automation. We just want this. Isn't that a glorious, glorious tone? Now, if we grab the EQ, we can see what's going on here. It's going to be creating just a couple of harmonics. If we take the bit crusher off, we should see it's just a single frequency. Beautiful. We love a single frequency. So we can see the bit crusher here is doing a lot of the work for us, creating that digital computer type sound. And there's a couple of things we want to do in this bit crusher. We're going to leave this on touch so we can play around and record the different bits of automation and it will maintain those levels for us. Now the resolution and downsampling are the best things to play with as well as the drive to give a little bit of fluctuation in level as well. So we're just going to real quickly record those bits in. As we can see, we've now got lots going on and it's created a little bit more of an exciting sound already. Now where we can make this really fun is using this here. So we've got it just set up so it's creating that single sine wave and then the bit crushers crushing it, creating loads of other random odd harmonics on the way it's distorting the audio. But then we want to move that tone to different places which drastically changes how all of those frequencies are being affected. So we can shrink you a little bit so we can see the frequency analysis going on here. And we're going to automate this. We're leaving it on touch again. We're going to do the same thing. We've just got these four bars going around here. And we're just going to move this around a little bit. And guys, it is simple as that. That's all we need to create this sound effect. 
done in less than a couple of minutes there for you. I hope this video was helpful for someone. If it was, please bash a like on the video and give me a comment down below. I'd love to chat and I'd love to hear exactly what you're going to use this for if it was helpful for you. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye now.